All right, you guys. We're back. Uh, somebody give me a confirm on audio and video, please. All right, that'll have a confirmation. Appreciate it. That's teamwork there. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Good job. I'll have to check that out from down below. Boy, that's some heavy wind to lift that. Jeez. That's carpet flooring. What does it say? Um, uh, I can't remember. They told me. You have to go down and take a look from down there. Uh, I have 158 current viewers. Yeah, um, I used to use Occupy Earth 101, and today I switched it up. Last night I switched it up to Occupy SF TV. Ah, uh, thanks. Yeah. And I also have an Occupy Liberty on live stream. That's livestream.com forward slash Occupy Liberty. Additionally, I'd like to uh, start off a stream with my standard greetings and salutations. Solidarity uh, around the world to everybody in Occupy and everybody that's watching. I, I know I can't get to all the uh, solidarity texts on the the stream here but I saw there was a Phoenix in there and um, several other places I can't remember off the top of my head uh, but uh, back to the disclaimer here I only ask for donations to the Occupy San Francisco org website because this stream is brought to you by that web that uh, donations link that goes to Occupy San Francisco is controlled by the General Assembly here in Occupy San Francisco and I'm on the communications team uh, no, I'm the sorry. video team the live stream team here's Rob uh, uh, Rob can you confirm that uh, that link on uh, Occupy San Francisco org does that go to the proper donations since yes, you are with the yes, financial yes yes I'm the treasurer the treasurer that, that link is definitely going to our uh, our account. Okay, and this this phone is uh, both of these phones uh, are streaming, and we're working in, in coordination and collaboration to, to continue bringing you the movement from San Francisco. If You're you could paid for through that that donations button. Yes, and that's what I was explaining to them. Thank you for yes. for Please that support us. We yeah. need it. We haven't had hardly any donations since we got raided back in December. So uh, now we're gonna have some more expenses coming up. Yeah. <laughs> so we could use the help. Thanks, Thank Rob. The support. Enjoy. Back to work, hey, sir. <laughs> you know you're on Global Revolution now. We're, Did you hear that? The what? This one here? This yeah, new you, station? Your, your station just made Global Revolution today. Uh, you're on their page now. Oh, so it only took six months. Yeah. But that's okay because <laughs> I can still throw them all the other links to the old archive stuff, and they can check it out yeah. from the good old days. It's okay, you know. I'm yeah, oh, yeah. I, I'm having a you great time. Forward, you know. That's what we're I'm having a great time here, you know. Hold on, R2. Yeah, I know. Talk to R2. So, <laughs> I'm having a great time here, really, to be honest. This is the, the revolution of a lifetime. This is what I've been waiting for, and the skills that I've acquired through my lifetime have, have made it easy for me to jump in and do what I do. Uh, bringing you the stream. I know I'm not perfect. I'm only human. I make mistakes. And... Uh, you know, sometimes they make a comment or two that may, may not be appropriate, but um, sometimes we get a little punchy for being up 30 hours straight. So I'm not making excuses, but like I said, I'm only human, and uh, we're doing the best we can here. And that's the end of disclaimer. Back to the news. We have a tent on the roof. People out front waiting for donations to be dropped off. People on the roof waiting for donations to be dropped off. We have uh, about 15 police guarding the street on either corner. 
blocking off from there back is a civilian zone I guess everything in here is a uh, police controlled and this is occupied space Occupy San Francisco has occupied 888 Turk What are the pros and cons of staying anonymous covered during event? Um, I can't see who wrote that because your name's too dark on my screen during this daylight. But um, I don't know. Here, let me give you my other look. Sometimes, sometimes we gotta go with the security look. Make people think that you're actually with the CIA. Nah, who believes that shit? So this has been the most exciting corner all day and I've seen my friends over there and various other uh, news channels come and go. Oh, once again, we'll go through the donations list, things that if you want to donate, uh, if you're not doing a monetary donation online, uh, it ripped in my pocket. Hold on a second. So we have uh, donations you can drop off in person would be socks. Tobacco. People's on the list, but they're already on their way. Sleeping gear, 420. Non-perishable foods, mm, trail mix, etc. Canned food. Um, there's also water, pens, and paper. Paint. Staples and a staple gun. Trash bags and trash cans. First aid kits and construction tools. Uh, they can be hand tools or electric powered. We have electricity here and water. Okay, and I'm just trying to read the text here. Um, like I said I, earlier too, is something I want to send out there. I'm a professional. I've been a, a rock climber, a mountaineer, an ice climber, a professional skier. I've been climbing. Fix the banner. You got it. I'll fix the banner. Um, I've been a professional uh, computer technician. Yeah, that looks dangerous, doesn't it? Um, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, one of the most important things. I'm a professional occupant and professional vi videographer now, I guess. You need what? Winston? Winsall. Yeah. Winsall. Hey, Winsall? Hey. Yeah. Wins. They're calling. Someone's calling me? Yeah. Also, there's that light tool that's in the middle of the, the, the Christmas one. I saw, I saw that. Can you take it off? Take it off. Oh, it just got pulled over. So I, I'm a, uh, also done. Uh, let's see, maintenance, landscaping, hmm, heavy equipment operator. Uh, and I didn't want to get hit by this thing. Just let that fly in the in the breeze. Let's see how that works for a while. 
And this one, this one just never stays down. The wind's coming right at me, so it's always going to flop up. Ah, beer delivery. Oh, damn it. I guess not. We were hoping for beer. Somebody go knock on his window and see if he wants to do a donation. All right. All right, 12.30. Well, I don't know what time it is. Somebody give me a time check? No. Uh, time check, what's the time? 12.22? Eight minutes from now, they're leaving at 101 to come up here. Uh, looks like they've vacated their post down here. So people are allowed to come and go on this side of the street. Uh, hmm. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this or not. Oh, uh, looks like some gum going back to somebody that was here earlier. Hmm. Here's the park. If you want to come over to the park and lob stuff up under the roof, but uh... I think that would just be for fun now since people are just more or less walking up. I think the police have pulled in a retreat on this side of the street. Look, I can rhyme. Isn't that neat? Yeah, sleep deprivation will do that to you. Start talking funny, especially when you feel like you're talking to yourself, you're talking to the camera. And the conversation you guys have going on in there have nothing to do with what I'm saying. S most of the time. <laughs> Keep the kegger. Skip the kegger? No. no. If I have any beer, I'm coming off the roof. Yes. Those are all great suggestions there. Ping T1. Peroxide bandages, spices, oils, charcoal, barbecue grills. Um... We prefer hamburgers, bratwurst, hot dogs, some uh, buns to go with that. Hey, I did see that because I was paying attention there, and uh, I can't say your name. Tat, tat, well, hold on, slow down, stop moving the chat. Tatananika, not Nanchika. You're welcome. Thank you for... It's always good to know you're appreciated. Now that's... To me, that's actually one of the best payoffs. I, I really don't need to get paid to do this. All I need is a sustenance and a place to live. Uh, I do pay a child support. And my unemployment's about to end, so... It makes it kind of difficult. I am looking for work, and I can't find any. Gee, why am I at Occupy? All right. Let me say that again. Let's see, I'm skilled. I have many different trades and professions that I've been in, and yet I cannot get work because nobody out there is giving work. Um, and, I, and I don't want to sound like a bigot or a racist or something, because I'm not. I love all races, I'm Buddhist, and as, as a white male, I feel discriminated against. As an occupant I, and, and an American, I feel discriminated against. Um, our system is completely fucked up and we're here to make a change and we want to see that change and we're working together to do it. This, this, this project here, this project here, this building, two floors with a potential building in the back, has tons of potential in a city like this. I'm from the mountains, little, little uh, country mouse more or less. 
and this city is teeming with people that doesn't have a place to sleep they don't have a, a place to shower go to the bathroom i mean trying to find a bathroom in this city is absolutely ridiculous most people just piss off the curb you know and i've done it so back to the chat see if you guys have any comments on that If I can get the chat to slow down, let's see. Salad stuff, yes. Since you guys are still on the chicken, I didn't mention chicken, that's a great idea. There's a uh, Trojan keg and a bong. No, we don't have a Trojan keg or a bong here. As a white male, you're not, not, really not discriminated. Well, I don't know. I, I guess maybe I'm just feeling, feeling the brunt of the rest of the world's population coming in on the workforce, I guess, because there's no work here in America. I mean, I'm looking at tons of people that can't get jobs, and um, maybe I'm just a little, little upset because, um, you know, I've been able to get a do a phone call and get a job in the past. Literally, I've called places in the past and been able to get a job. I've just been there. Here's my skills. I'll be there. I show up. I show them that I know what I'm doing, and I have the job. So nowadays, it's like six interviews and six months later after the interview process starts. I have yet to begin an interview process that doesn't end in "thank you for your time" or "thanks for your resume." Uh, if you fit the criteria that we're looking for and a spot comes available, we'll hire you. We'll let you know. So, and that's about it. And I've been looking for eight months now. Uh, thank you, Mandy. Um, I appreciate it. No, I, I try to have, come to an understanding with people. You know, I don't, I don't mean to come across a certain way. Sometimes my words come out in a way that I don't intend or they come across a way that is misunderstood. Um, uh, yes, looking without a job, that it makes it even harder because you don't have a job that makes you un undesirable to be hired so and I've noticed more and more Americans with tons of skills training and background college degrees have trouble getting jobs for you know 12 12 to 15 dollars an hour here let me give you a story I was recently working yes I worked at IBM and there were people there that had countless degrees in computer electronics IT networking um, master's degrees and they were working for $12 an hour as uh, an ID administrator simple password changes in, in ID creation I could do it you know I mean I'm self-taught so you know, these people that are used to making sixty thousand dollars a year you know oh well, we have a little activity on the street nope never mind they let him go Anyway, back to that. There's um, people used to making sixty or a hundred thousand dollars a year, down to making twelve bucks an hour, and they got a family. Come on. That was one of the reasons why I quit working at IBM because, you know, I wasn't getting a raise, and I'd been there for a year and a half. I said, you know what? If you guys aren't going to value me, what I've brought to the company, and in my hard work, dedication, I worked. Sometimes I work 70 hours uh, to take care of situations that, that just needed to be handled to get the uh, computer accounts that I, that I took control of under control. So six months time I worked you know, an average of 60 hours a week. Did I get a raise? Did I get a thank you? Oh, I did get a piece of paper that said good job.
Oh, hey, David. Come on over here, man. Uh, I see you're ready. you head to, to Oakland, or maybe, you know, go to Oakland, grab some people there, and tell them to come on over and join us. They had the uh, Oakland Ocubus here. I rode up in it to get this location. You can look at the uh, video from yesterday if you want to check that out. But we'd certainly love to have more people show up. Uh, this is just a small contingent of people hanging out in front. There's people in back talking. Dog food! Yes, we'll send that request out again. We need dog food. Right? A big bag? Like a 40 pound bag of dog food would do good. You know, feeding the pets on the, on the street is hard to do, you know, and we love our pets. You know what, let's get rid of these. I don't like them down here. How's that sound? And get all this gathered up. Get it away from the edge. Keep our sign from flying away. So I'm thinking uh, I'm a little parched and I need to get some water. I got to go therefore through the second floor which we are not filming on. That's still a no-go on filming on the second floor, correct? Yeah. All right. Um, I think I'm going to sign out and go get some water, take a break for a few minutes. I've been up here for... I think uh, this this set says 22 minutes. Last set was around an hour. My arm's getting tired, but I am having so much fun. We got a drop off. There we go. I'll end, I'll end this with a quick drop off. The officer across the street's yelling, yelling at him, you're blocking traffic. They're not blocking traffic! You crazy? How are they blocking traffic? There's nobody behind them. I, I can't do that. Like, holding this and doing that would it, it's just could easy, cause a. It's easy just to throw it off, dude. It's not. Yeah. I just believe in safety first. I'm concentrating on one thing. You and, can lay down and do it. Yeah. yeah, I guess I could. That one's not going to stay down there. It's going to keep blowing back up. Anyway, Rob, I'm going to go get some water for a little bit. Yeah, I, I can't sign in. You can't sign in? Uh-oh. So, we're going to end this with a peace and solidarity from Occupy San Francisco at 888 Turk. One Liberty signing out. Peace and love. Stay tuned. We'll be back. Right.